even though she doesn't have much here, she has a couple up here. So it's just, I'm just gonna still do it. It doesn't have to be as deep as the other one was. It could be like two fingers. Like, you know, when you put two fingers out. And then I'll just take it into this area here. Use all the wax on your stick. And you wanna close the borders, guys. That's how you kinda get your strip up without it breaking or um, it leaving residue behind. You wanna make sure that the borders are closed. So what I mean is like taking the extra wax on your stick and putting it along the strip, okay? I uh, see these are growing in. You notice how these up here grow directly down? So now I know that I need to just really control my stick so we don't break or damage any hairs. Move away from what you don't wanna to touch, guys. That's very important. Extra wax, just put it somewhere so you're not wasting it. This, actually, this is ready. So this piercing is the easy one. I, the same thing, guys. You notice how I just cover it with my finger? So now we're gonna cover there and cover there. You see how I can't see it now? Okay, there's no worries. And I'm going to leave, I'm not gonna let go of this strip until I am confident that it's a little bit dry so the piercing doesn't touch the wax. Scoop this wax over here because we're not wasting anything. And someone asked me before, I don't remember who it was, but what happens if the tampon gets pulled out? It's happened before. Okay, I always have tampons in my shop. It was not happened with me, but I have it for that reason. If, if someone starts their period, they can go put one on. If I accidentally pull one out because the wax got sucked, they can put another one in, okay? So here, this area is the only part I care about being dry right away because I want to let go. See that? Not touching. And then keep moving. And everyone here knows how to tweeze, right? Someone asked me to tweeze. I'm not tweezing. I feel like you should know how to do that. If you don't, I don't want to say return your license, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you gotta figure something out. So, this is dry. Hold the booty meat. Remember we talked about that booty meat? Pressure and remove. And here we go. You notice how I divided the labia in half? Because there's a piercing now. Like my whole finger can't hold this whole thing at her piercing, so I have to improvise a little bit. So don't do this, guys, okay? You wanna just use the marker point, the tip of the stick. That's where most of the pressure in the whole entire stick is. So you notice that piercing right there? I'm trying to slip away, I see you. That's okay, I'm confident that I won't let go. And I'm gonna wave it down. And I don't even think it's gonna touch. It's up to you. If you don't feel comfortable, see if the client can take it out. I definitely try to make them take the one that's up here out. But this one, I just work around it. So now we're gonna do this part up here. Work away and go down. Scoop and move. You guys see how I scooped and moved that? Over here, scoop and move it. I don't be wasting no wax. Have you ever had to disclose to your clients that you might not get all the hairs? Because of what? No, I get it out. Mm -hmm. Um, I probably have like maybe two or three videos. You'll see how I get it out. So I use actually the small stick. So now this one, we're gonna take off. Pressure. Hold top and pressure. See how nice and clean that came off? Try to apply a thinner strip if possible and be cautious of that tampon, okay? You guys see how nice and smooth this cream wax goes on? We love a good cream wax. I'm gonna hold here so nothing touches. Just gonna wait for like five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can let go. You notice how when I let go, I move those strings to this side? I don't want nothing to get on that piercing. So we're doing this cleanup over here, guys. And I'm just using the edge of the stick. It's like a pencil. You know how when you're writing, you can control what you're writing? That's how you have to treat the stick, like a pencil, and you'll be able to do a nice thin strip. Cream wax can look like it's thick, but it's cream. That's what cream looks thick, right? You have to know that, if you guys can actually notice the difference, it's thinner than the other ones I've been applying. You as the esthetician have to know when you're applying the wax that you're applying it thin, or else you're gonna feel like you're using too much, but you're really not. 
So that's something you have to be cautious of understanding the different waxes that you use. There's film wax, gel wax, cream wax, there's so many different hard waxes out there. Okay, we're gonna clean up any residue on her labia. 